Daily Devotional, April 10 This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. My dear Father God, today I would like to say a special thanks for sending people who pray for us. Most certainly it was as the result of intercessory prayers that I was saved. It was not by my will or power, but by your Spirit that caused such a miraculous transformation in my life. I worship you, mighty God, for your faithfulness and your love. Your capacity for kindness and forgiveness is beyond anything my mind can wrap itself around. I love you, beloved. I lavish you with all my adoration. I love you with a passionate fervor, and my desire is to please you. Help me to please you, Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit prays his name. Even death couldn't hold him captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. You know, it really takes the power of the Holy Spirit to transform a life. We all probably have our opinions of which is the greatest miracle. Mine personally is the parting of the Red Sea. And many say that it is the transformation of a soul at salvation. But this is not what today's devotional is about. That singular statement, even death couldn't hold him captive, even in the grave Jesus is Lord, is loaded. It carries with it all the power, dominion, supremacy, prerogative, authority and jurisdiction of the Holy Spirit. It is real, this power. The Spirit of the Lord hovered. God spoke and there was instant manifestation of that word. Imagine the effect. One moment darkness and void. The next a command for light to be and in less than a nanosecond later light bathed the atmosphere and darkness had to flee. Imagine again five smooth stones picked up by an adolescent boy in whose mouth was continuous praise for God as well as the following loaded words. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. And with that, the power of the Holy Spirit moved the chosen stone to topple the giant. And after that, he was a giant no more. What are we facing today that the Holy Spirit cannot behead? Nothing. Just give it to him. Give it to him and do not stretch out your hand to catch hold of even a tiny corner of it. Just let it go. Working in our own strength without him, our power is nothing compared to his. Our power is like that of a tiny ant compared to his, which is like Mount Everest and even more. Holy Father, I reverence you. I prostrate myself before you, great God. I give you jurisdiction over my life. In Jesus' name, amen.